Right now, outside that garage door, it's 89 degrees and about 112% humidity, or at least that's what it feels like. Hot as hell in here. And man, I would like to have something in this garage to fix that, but unfortunately I can't. So we're gonna talk about one possible solution to the heat in your garage in the summer, why I can't have one, and what you need to know if you can. Welcome to the Gym Crafter YouTube channel. My name's Tim, I'm the head gym nerd here at gymcrafter.com, the website that I built to help regular folks like you and me build home and garage gyms that we absolutely love. And I gotta tell you, when it's a billion degrees and humid, it's hard to love your home gym. And that's what we're gonna talk about on today's Five Minute Friday, is one possible way that you might be able to fix that problem here in the summertime. We're right at the beginning of summer. This is the right time to do this to your garage gym if you're going to. So let's talk about today portable air conditioners. Let's get five minutes on the clock and let's get into it. All right, so in a previous life, I worked at a store that sold all kinds of things. One of those things was appliances and one of those appliances was portable air conditioners. The issue with portable air conditioners is that they get returned a lot. In fact, it was one of the highest return rate items in the entire store. Now, that doesn't mean that they're a bad product. They kind of do what they say they're gonna do, kind of. The issue is that there's three things you need to know about a portable air conditioner before you bring one into your garage gym to make sure that you aren't gonna return one as well and that it's actually gonna do what you want it to do. When it gets super hot in your garage, it's hard to get in here to work out and I know that these things are tempting. And if you know these three things and you can deal with these three things, you're gonna have a good time with the portable air conditioner. If you can't, like me, then you're just gonna to have to deal with the heat. So let's get into what those three things are and why I don't have one in this garage. And that's the first reason. Air conditioners don't just cool the air, they condition the air. And what that means is that they're not just cooling it down, but they're taking the humidity out of the air. If you've ever been in a cheap hotel room, which has a bad air conditioner where it cools the air, but it doesn't take the humidity out, you get that cold, clammy feeling, and it's just really awful. Well, in order to take the humidity out of the air, that water has to go somewhere. And the way a portable air conditioner works is there's actually, and none of them show this in the pictures online, um, very few of them talk about it in the descriptions, but if you open the owner's manual, what you'll see is they'll come with this long hose and then they'll come with this window filler kit. It's a bunch of little plastic pieces that can fill in the spots in your window. So you open up your window, you take the hose, you stick it out the window, and then you fill it all in with these filler pieces so that the bugs don't get in and things like that. Well, I don't know about you guys, I don't have a window in my garage. So I really, I don't have a way to use one of these. What I could do is open the garage door a little bit and then find a way to block off all the bottom opening except for where the hose goes out. And I suppose if I live someplace like Georgia or Alabama or Mississippi, I might think about doing that. I don't have to deal with the heat that long, so it's not that big of a deal for me, but that's the number one reason why people would bring these back is they would get them home, they would wanna put them in an attic room or a second bedroom, and either they don't have a window in that room or they don't have, you know, you can't put these in like the crank out kind of windows, you have to have a, a window that slides up and down or side to side. So people would return them because they just were unable to or unwilling to vent them out. So that's the first thing you need to know about these portable ACs is that you've got to vent them out of a window or something. If you want to punch a hole in the side of your garage, you could do that. I did have some customers do that, but you got to vent it no matter what. There's no way around it. You can't vent it into a bucket or anything like that. Don't try and work around it. You got to vent it outside. Number two, they're not very efficient. So the largest ones, which are typically around 14,000 BTUs, can cool down a 450 square foot room according to the description in the owner's manual. I would cut that in half. Now, if you've got a two car garage or a one car garage, these larger units should be okay. But what a lot of people do is they look at the description or they use the, the BTU rating of a window unit or a home unit. And if you bought window units before, you can't use the same BTU to space rating. You have to kind of drop, you have to size up basically. So buy a bigger unit than you think you'll need. If the unit says, you know, it'll cool a 450 square foot room, count on it doing about 250 square feet. So if you've got a 450 square foot room, you wanna go the next size up. And they only get so big, they're not gonna cool down. A three car garage is gonna be a challenge for these things. And because of that, it takes a good amount of time for these things to cool that size room down. So don't expect it to, especially if you've let your garage get real hot, one of the other mistakes a lot of customers made was, once your garage gets hotter, once your basement gets hot, you have to understand that it's not just the air that's hot. 
your rubber flooring is hot, all of your gear, all this metal is warm. It's all emitting heat. So you can count on when you first put these in your garage, it's about a one degree per hour cooling rate to cool down your garage when you first put it in there. So if you're looking for something that you can just come out, turn it on, and then come back in 30 minutes later like you would maybe like a space heater in the wintertime, that's not how they work. If you let your garage get hot, it's gonna be hot for a while before these things cool it down. So it's something that you're gonna to wanna to turn on, keep your door closed so that it can not have to cool down your squat rack every time you turn it on. And that's a deal breaker for a lot of garage gym owners is they don't wanna have, you know, you're working out an hour a day, maybe two hours a day at the most, and you don't wanna have this thing running all the time like you do the air conditioner in your house. So keep that in mind that it's not an instant cool type of a thing. The Iceman cometh. And then the third reason that a lot of people return these, and I think this was more for folks who were putting them into bedrooms, is that they are loud. It's not like, you know, obnoxious fan loud. They're, they're, ooh. And look at that, I talk too much. Surprise, surprise, let me wrap this up. They're loud, so just expect them to be loud. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. You turn your, your radio up, turn your music up or something like that, but if you like kind of a nice quiet thing or if you, you know, it's right next to your kid's room or something like that, they're gonna be really loud. Now, I'll put some links to some of the better units down below in the description. I've got enough experience with these to know if you're gonna get one, which ones work, which ones don't. So I'll make a couple recommendations down below for the ones that actually work pretty well and get good customer reviews. But that's what you need to know for this 5 Minute Friday. If you do wanna put a portable air conditioner in your garage, you can definitely do it. You just need to be aware of those three things. If you have one, let me know in the comments what you think. If you're thinking about getting one and you have more questions, I sold them for 20 years, so I'm happy to answer those questions for you. But that's all I've got for today's 5-Minute Friday. Thanks again for watching. Like I said, if you like the video, like it. If you know somebody who's got a hot garage, share the video with them. And until next Friday, hey guys, have a great weekend. Enjoy your summer, and I'll talk to you then. I'm Tim from Gym Crafter.